Okay, hello, good morning, uh, good afternoon, or good evening, uh, depending on when you listen to this presentation. So my name is Victor, and I'm going to be your anchor for this training. Okay, so this is uh, a short video on how you could upload a site on, on your cPanel, especially if it's a, a bootstrap site. So this is a bootstrap site that has already been done. It's simply HTML, CSS, and a little bit of uh, JavaScript. Uh, so this is it, uh, photofolio. So it was based on a, a bootstrap team. So you have index page, contact page, and an about us. It has some form and some assets, some basic uh, uh, CSS files and uh, JavaScript file. So this is a template that was turned into something like this. Right? So this is what you have. So you have you have um, this uh, site, it has like three pages, right? So it's typically a fundraise for uh, someone. So what we want to do now is we want to get to cPanel and upload this site. So this is the folders I'm going to be uploading, right? So uh, this is the site, if you check this, this is the site. Normally, once you purchase a domain and hosting account, you have a blank page. Uh, you have a blank index file that just shows that it's ready. Now, all you need to do is to log into your cPanel. If you've secured a hosting, you're going to get your cPanel, or you could go from your where you purchased your domain name and navigate to your cPanel. If you have to navigate to your cPanel, it's typically you saying Albert, uh, the need domain name slash cPanel for most servers, depending on what you purchased, you're going to be given the URL. Once you get to this um, point, you put in your username and password. Once you have done that, you should get to this environment. So this is what your cPanel looks like. It has uh, billing and tools. It has scripts if you want to install WordPress or SMF or several other scripts. Uh, if you want to create emails, if you want to set up databases and, and the rest. But mostly a bootstrap site is HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So we just need to go to File Manager. And what we're going to do is that we're going to zip, we're going to zip everything here and upload. So I'm just going to go back a bit. I think I already have the zipped version. Uh, this is the zipped version here. So this is the zip version. So let me just say uh, send to zip, compress to zip file. Yeah, I think that's fine. So once I have it zipped, the name of the zip file is photofolio. So once I'm in my file manager, let me do that again. I log into cPanel, I come to my file manager. I go to the WW folder which is the root directory. So I'm going to have exactly what I have here. How about this? So I'm going to have this configuration uh, file I have here, so th which is this. So all I need to do is to upload the zip file. Now, not typically you can upload single file. You cannot upload a folder. If you need to upload a folder, you need to zip the folder before you upload. So this is it here. This is the zipped file, so I'll upload that. I want to be sure that I get to 100%. Yeah. So once I get to 100%, I will navigate back and I will now extract this zip file within the directory. Once I extract this zip file within the directory, the site should basically load. Most issues you can have is where you are uploading to the wrong directory uh, or where you, you are trying to assess, okay, I think it's 100%. Um, I cannot go back. So I'm going to have, if I refresh, reload, reload again. Okay, yes, this is it. So all I need to do is that if I refresh here, what I'm going to be seeing, is I'm going to be seeing the zip folder. So that's not what you want. What you want is a situation whereby you're going to extract. So there are some functions you have here in, your file manager, you could set up a new file. You can create a new file. We can do that later on. You could set up a folder. You could copy, you could move. You could, basically, uh, uh, normal folder 
uh, function that you can even do on your PC. You can download, you could delete a file, you could rename a file like this one. I can just rename it to say um, my site, right? You could do most of those functions. What I need to do now is just to extract. Still in the same directory. Once it's extracted, it's going to pop up this. So what I'm going to have, I'm going to have this. If I refresh also, what I'm going to have is this. So this is not what I want yet. So all I need to do is to move everything you have in this content into this root directory. So I will double click on this, double click on this. Okay, I will select everything. I will move it now to, I don't want it to be inside the folder of the folder. I want it to be in the root directory. So I will just say move files. So it will now load. If I go back up one level, up one level, yes. So in the HTML, that means if I still go up one level, by the time I come to my WW folder, I have all those files here. Or you could pick, put, upload the file one after the other, but it's going to be, it's going to take a lot of time. So the best thing to do is to upload the zip file, extract the zip file, and move all the files in from the zip file into your home directory. Now, what I, what is going to happen is that if I refresh this site, I'm typically going to see my file, right? I think that is basically how to upload a site that is based on Bootstrap. So you zip all the files that you have done, upload it in your file manager, extract it, move all the files into the root directory, and you're up and running. Okay, subsequent video, we'll see how to fix SSL on this uh, site and maybe do other things. Thank you very much.